Welcome back cosplayers. This is the last video for our torso piece and it's really really exciting because this is our first time to finish one in total. So these are the colors that I use. Feel free to shake things up. I even like blue and silver. I had that idea. So before I show you guys how I paint, I'm going to show you how I fix these seams. I went back into this after I painted because I didn't realize how easy it was. So all I have is some quick seal dap. I think it was like $4 at Lowe's. I just take a little bit, put it on my glove and rub it in the crack. Get a good layer on there and just get a flat surface and kind of just squeegee that out and rub it in a little bit so that it's not too layered. And for the rest of this video, it's going to be with the cracks because like I said, I did this after I painted, so part in the cracks before I paint. So let's get started with our paint. We're going to start with gold and you can use a sponge or a paintbrush. I use both. A paintbrush is able to get more of the cracks, which I end up switching to because I realize that later, but just dab it on every layered piece because what we're going to do is the gold is going to come up on our higher layered pieces and we're going to deepen the lower pieces with black and kind of rose gold. So lots and lots of gold here. Just keep painting and keep painting. I actually do two layers of gold because I really, really want to get that brightness. You can dab on more gold if you want a more textured look because that sponge leaves almost a hammered metal look if you do it right. And there's what it looks like when it's dry, so it actually turns really kind of brassy. So next we're going to mix our black and our rose gold to a consistency that you like. It took me kind of a while to test pieces and really like the color because it was too bright or too dark or, or whatever. And so I finally got the color that I liked and it's somewhere in the middle. And now I'm just painting all of the lower pieces. Keep a rag on handy just in case you accidentally get it on the gold and get a smaller brush for our hard to get to spaces. And don't forget to paint inside of your layers too.
And this is my favorite part. Grab your black and we're going to antique this thing. We're gonna make it look like it's old and battle-worn. Have your rag handy because you're gonna have to rub a lot of antique stuff in and rub it off when you use too much. So feel free to use your brush or your sponge and just dab it in the deeper cracks and kind of rub it around. And rub it off if you feel like it's too much because you can always layer it back in, but it's kind of harder to put gold over black and then try to mix it. Again, it gets a little complicated, so. So rubbing it in corners and then just kind of taking it back off. You can apply this as heavy or as light as you like. I kind of went heavy because I really like that effect. And in places like this here, I put a lot of black because they're kind of dead spaces, right? Rub it on your gold pieces that are layered and wipe it off too so you can have that nice appearance of a crease. 